Uh, well, it's getting to be that time again. We are uh, two weeks away from the book release in April, April 27th. And uh, Michael and I are doing our first show in quite some time uh, tomorrow night at the New School. And Michael is arriving uh, as I speak, actually. It's a beautiful night here in New York. Uh, I'm going to have you take a look at this. How about this? Is this not just a picture-perfect night? You can even see here it's, it's a little after 7. It's the Empire State Building. Madison Square Park. Beautiful, beautiful night. And uh, soon we will be meeting up with Michael. And we're on our way again, uh, getting ready for uh, some really great adventures. Very excited about this. So stick around. Come in, PB. <laughs> WHQ. Where are you? Uh, uh, come in, Michael. Oysters on the half shell. Wait till you see this. Yeah. June Taylor dancers. June Taylor dancers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> well, it's a beautiful day here in New York. And, <laughs> it certainly uh, is. We are walking to the venue because it's so nice. We're just going to walk to the venue. And we could use a little walk after uh, lunch. We had a great show last night. We had a, we had a really great show. It was very fun. Uh, now we're headed to Random House, where we're going to do uh, a little showcase to let them know what we're going to be doing to support the book tour. It's going to be very fun. Uh, so stay tuned. We're going to be in Random House very shortly. So we're heading up to the 14th floor here at uh, Random House. Chocolate icing, glazed donuts, chocolate croissant, hot black coffee, yeah. and other assorted goodies. Inside the environs of Here Random House. Here we go. Peter's multimedia performance combines his music with a warm, wise, inspirational message. He will be accompanied by cellist Michael Cutt, one of the world's most beloved cellists. How about that, huh? It's yeah. good to be it's loved. True. Isn't it nice? A little pregame. Okay. Seen two at one time. <laughs> Oh, 
but I didn't do that when I was a kid. And, and so the music supporting something was very important to me. And uh, so I thought, i got to get a record deal. And I wasn't thinking I'd sell records. I thought this would get in the hands of film editors as they were editing their films. And then the director would come in and say, love the film, but who did that music? I love that too, and maybe we should hire that person to score the film. That happened, and still does. Uh, so I thought, i got to get records out there. Mm -hmm. 